YouTube, what's going on? Surprise guest. Let's go. Let's go hang out. Come on. Come on. So, very requested video. I feel like this is necessary. Also, disregard if I look like a bum right now. We just left the gym. We are in crunch time. I'm trying to get the jockey weight. We're trying to get to 155. So that leaves 11 pounds I gotta leave. Losing, uh, I think three weeks. Anna, how did you do it? Trispa, baby. So, uh, heavily requested video. Hello, Millie. This is the puppy, say hello. Heavily requested video. Uh, what parts am I running on the build? I had some of these parts on the previous build. Um, a lot of things have been updated now, so I'm, I'm, there is major improvements that are happening from this from this next bike. So I'll run through a couple of the things. I'll tag the companies that you know follow or check their links out and if you're interested in getting this stuff, because so far from what I've seen, this is the best stuff, AKA the lightest stuff that you can get, you know, best performing. So, you know, take like that's, it's just my own testing. It's my personal opinion. Take that as you will. If you want to, you know, grab it by all means. So we have a few things, you know, I have everything laid out, but there's so many more parts than just this, but I'll run through a couple of the pieces. What are you doing there, bub? There you go. What are you doing? What are you doing? So everyone asks a lot about this. Let me grab it quick. So this is, Street Shark Carbon Aero Disc. Basically, the Aero Disc, the idea behind it is that, I mean, if you ever look at a semi, look at the back wheels, there's a disc on it. So the cavity that's in, in the wheel, you know, where the, the lug nuts are, you have a disc and it's for aerodynamics. Now, I have had friends reach out who went to events before. They've used the disc, just one side too. And it actually helped their mile per hour up top. They ended up gaining two to three miles per hour. So if that's what you need, you know, God forbid, if you have a bike that's, you know, very similar power to you set up all this crap and you need that little bit of, it, of an edge, Aero Disc is a good option. So Street Shark, right there, I'll put that. Next comment, for next part, we got a Leaf Performance, hooked it up with these carbon bars. These were almost five ounces lighter than the driven aluminum bars. Also got the lowering brackets. These are such a nice fit and finish and they're the lightest that I am aware of right now. They're lighter than Brock's. And of course you need the spacer for the opposite side because we, we only run one rotor in this, this territory. Today, Junior! So let's go. What else we got? So, uh, of course, EK chain, only one I run if it's available. We went with black and gold, of course. So I did go aftermarket with the radiator. It's, it actually ended up being a little heavier, but it is what it is. I have heard that the lower mounting bracket might not line up. So we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Moving on to the sprockets. So we got the front sprocket, which is from Super Light. The lightest one I can find as of now, that's a 16 tooth. This is stock gearing, by the way. 43 tooth, 43 tooth rear sprocket. That's from Driven. This is from Super Light. And then we have the Brembo caliper, uh, I'm sorry, clutch, clutch side lever, lowering kickstand. I think this is Soupy's. Yeah, Soupy's Performance. I bought these as a kit, so these came together. This is a lowering bracket for the rear suspension and then the lowering. Can you, can I help you? Okay. Obviously everyone knows about the beautiful Roto Box. Can't go wrong with that. The front wheel on the Roto Box was 6.1 pounds and then the rear wheel was um, 9.4. There are lighter carbon wheels out there, but that's what we got. So it's light enough for me. What else we got? Samco hoses, of course. Teddy already has a bunch of them mounted onto the onto the motor that's being shipped as of right now. JRI rear shock, that lost another two pounds. These beauties, Carbomoto rear subframe. Now that lost almost three pounds from what I remember. Of course, we have the SC Project slip-on. Disregard my bad bluing technique because that did not go well. I suck. I get it. It's it's whatever. This is a Thompson swing arm, four to eight inch extension. Okay. So this is stuff that, you know, obviously a lot of trial and error, me just trying to find every piece that I can to make this bike as light as it can, but perform as well as it can. And so far, all this stuff is crucial to that. So we'll keep on going through it. 
acropovic titanium header. The problem with this, they don't make it anymore. It's so freaking light, so light. But this mod, so this modification is something, I'm very surprised not a lot of people do this. This is a stock CBR1000 RR SP2 titanium gas tank. This is a factory part. It's a, it's a direct bolt on and you know, fuel pump fits right in it, same gas cap. It just, it's titanium and it's a factory part. So it bolts right up. And I think that took out, I want to say, I think it was three and a half pounds. I could be wrong on that number because it was a while ago that I bought that. But it's a little on the pricey side. I think I got it for 700, but it's every bit counts. So this obviously is a good amount of money. I mean, the wheels, the tank, the header, the exhaust, the subframe, like it's obviously a good amount of money. But as I tell everyone, if you want to be fast, you got to spend money and it is what it is. Even on the track, you still got to spend money to be fat. Most of this stuff, if not all of it, besides the swing arm, track guys can utilize if they want to spend that money. Obviously they take the risk because you guys are definitely going to, you know, you take the risk of possibly crashing more and we don't want that. It's all this stuff can help anyone, any rider, can benefit from this. So figured I'd do this video. I'll put a link for each one of these companies in the description. Most of this stuff you can get from my sponsor. As all of you know, Stage Street uh, Motor Works, Teddy. I'll leave his his uh, account in the uh, description, but contact him if you want most of this stuff because he can get it from, he can get the chain, he can get the battery, the stacks, the, the sprockets, he can get the Samco hoses. Uh, this is obviously a leaf performance here. And then, so most of this stuff, Teddy can get it for you. So hit him up, but thank you guys. Um, I thought, I'd, like I said, I thought I'd make this video because a lot of people just ask me what, what parts I'm running. We're on the home stretch right now. The bike is in transit right now. I just checked, it's actually on its way to Charlotte. So that means we have hopefully like maybe less than a week and I'll receive it and we can start putting this thing together because Miami is less than a month away, so. Thank you everybody. I appreciate you checking in. Um, I hope you all have a safe holiday. Uh, please drive carefully. Please drive sober. You know, if you don't, ha if you do have a drink, please, you know, get an Uber, be smart. Don't want to have anyone, uh, any unfortunate events happening. So happy holidays, everyone. Hope you all have a good one.